Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and show you the little binder book, do a flip through um, of our mini binder. We're going to look at some papers from Medieval Mirage and I'm going to start uh, just making some ephemera using these. Um, I'm also going to talk about my shop and um, some stencils that are in there now. Okay, so this is our little um, two ring binder from Tim Holtz. It measures five by seven, five by seven, and then it has a one and a half inch spine and it just has the two rings and they're about, let's see, is that, no, that's not where those are. Um, I've measured this before, but they're about three and an eighth apart is what those two rings are. So anyway, um, I didn't do anything to the cover because I thought whoever gets this might want to either put another label there or write there or whatever. And so I just left it as it is because it's really kind of cool. It's a nice, soft, fabric-y feel um, to this binder and it looks all aged and stuff. So it's, it's just nice as it is, I think. Um, we go inside and I have a pocket here and we made this one together. It's one of the ones that I did with the watercolor. Um, on the pieces of uh, coffee dyed paper. And um, then we decorated it all up. And I'm sorry if you can hear that chainsaw. They're cutting down a tree uh, right across the street, but this was the only time I had to make a video. <laughs> so it was kind of like, I just have to do it or not have a video again today. And yesterday we were busy. We had to take Aiden in and some other stuff. But anyway, um, so this was done with, I think we used watercolor and the um, iridescent paints from Arteza and that's how we got that shine on there and then um, collaged over the top of it and I think it's just a really cool effect on that. So that pop, that tag is in that pocket and I backed it with some of the wood from my um, Woodland Santa digital download and this is mostly all my industrial digital download. There's a few pieces from um, my Rust and Numbers. I also have my cogs here that I cut on the Glowforge and the die cut numbers are around about. And then we did this uh, canvas, piece of canvas together. I just cut or tore, as you can see, it's all frayed. A piece of canvas. I covered the whole thing in gesso and um, we did this little art piece together. That's in a video. So, And I thought about um, putting metal like eyelets here but I think it's it's great the way it is. I kind of like it with the uh, the canvas and it's not gonna rip with the gesso on it. So I think it's fine. And then this is just a little piece of like ledger and I put a little collage there. Um, this is uh, just a collage on a piece of book page. So if you're wondering what I do with those glue page books that you know, when I do the glue pages, this is an example. It's just a, a book page folded in half and then I've collaged on the front. These are my great grandparents. <laughs> I just love that image so I sometimes include it. And then um, you could write here, this is my industrial digi. And then we did this pocket together. This was a TCTC or um, the Colossal Tome of Concepts. It was one of the ideas for that. There's a video on that. And then just a tag in that pocket there. And that just tucks in and you could uh, put another little something in there if you wanted to you can also write on the back of this and then we have chief joseph here i just love that image it's just great and then you can um, journal here and then this one is another pocket this was a card that i got from my porch prints and it was in uh, one of the blue kits that they have and then this is from my industrial digital download. Um, I've started making music notes too, and they'll be in my shop by the time you, see, you guys see this video. Um, a Tracy label and a flower, and I believe those are from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, those flowers, I think. But anyway. And then I have one of my cabinet cards here, and it's just backed with my... Um, Spill and tea, did you with the lace and the tea dyed paper? And that just tucks in there. So just another little, little hidey spot there. And then you can write on the back. I painted it with some gesso and a little, put one of the Tim Holtz tissue paper numbers there. And then this is um, 
my vintage ads digi has all these old ads in it and i printed these black and white instead of doing the color because they're kind of a sepia sort of tone um naturally but and then there's some that are purple and um like a blue color but anyway this i just printed it in black and white and then i stenciled numbers on the back and this is in the industrial digi it's one of the uh like journaling cards that's in there already all done and i just backed it and put a piece of manila paper on there to write on. We have a manila envelope here that's been all decorated up. And then inside of there is another journaling card. This handsome gentleman and a little collage. And then this has been painted with gesso. I did stitch around this card. And that one just slides down in there. And then this is um, the Walgreens bag that I was telling you guys about that I just I cut the top down and I watercolored all over it and collaged it and then on the back I painted gesso so you could write on here if you wanted to and inside of this bag and there's still lots of room in this bag you could put other things too but I do have a journaling card and that's out of my industrial digi this is my rust and numbers is where this rust comes from and then the cogs and the number there are my die cuts and that just goes right down in there and then this is another um, one of the vintage ads printed black and white and then journaling space this is that artist that I, I showed you guys that book it's right here and i guess these are kind of expensive i had no idea because i found this at a thrift store for i don't know it doesn't even say on it but i got it for like i think two dollars and it's got all these great images in it and had I known, I wouldn't have torn it apart, but I guess they're hard to get because I tried to get another one and they are kind of expensive and somebody else mentioned that they're expensive. But anyway, that's who it is if you want to find the book just for the art itself because it is just awesome. I just, I love that, that art. It's just great. And this one just kind of had that sort of Western type look to it to me with the way the sky is and all that. So I put that one in there. And then um, this was a junk mail envelope with a window, and I just cut it down and then did a journaling card to go in there. Is that one attached? Yes. Let's get a scissors here. Okay, and then that's going to go right in here. And you can see the gentleman's face poking out there. And then a spot to write. Here is um, a piece of the watercolor paper that we did together. I just folded it over and made a pocket. And then, you know, left the, kind of the tab idea. I like having these tabs here to hook onto the binder rings. And so the pockets, you know, just like that wide is all. And so I just collaged all over it. I put um, some edging from a kind of a spiral notebook type thing here after I inked it and dripped ink on it and um, you know color and all that and then I made this journaling card to go in the pocket right here so there are a few feminine touches even though it is um, very masculine and then uh, that's the back you can write here this is just a piece of old book page and then here's one of our little funny <laughs> kind of art doll type things tags here and then another tag from the industrial digi and then this is my rust and numbers this pocket and i just added a little collage right there so that is it i do need to sign it still which i will do that before it goes out to its new owner but it will be in my shop so i'll get that listed and then um i have a couple of new stencils that i just want to show you guys i mean you've seen seen them but um one more too. So I have the big um, abstract faces, the one that I use to make the little uh, funny art dolls. These are the faces that I used. And then remember, I just did a circle around them. So if you're interested in this stencil, um, it's in my shop. It is a bigger one. It's nine by nine. And um, I just did it that way because I couldn't shrink it down without shrinking the features so much that they just it it just didn't work so I left it at the larger 9x9 nine nine size and um, of course you can stencil through it too you don't have to use it just for the faces but anyway and then 
I have this gentleman and he comes with these numbers that I sh have shown you guys before. So that, that would be a set, just like the ladies, just a man instead of ladies. And then I also have this gentleman and some kind of squares. And this is man one. The other one with the numbers is man two. That's just what I call them. It just, you know, makes it easier to keep track of that stuff when I get orders. And um, so I'll show you kind of a few ideas. So this is obviously the um, one of the faces from the abstract one. And this is the only one that I have left. But uh, anyway, you can see that I did the face and then did the circle around it. And I mentioned this last time, but I'll mention it again in case somebody didn't hear, but I um, traced the face on like this, and then I turned it over and just kind of lined up, you know, the lips and stuff, and I drew the uh, second eye, because this one, you can see, only has just the one eye on the stencil itself. So to get the second eye, just flip it over, and you can get another eye. So that's how I did those. And then this is one that I'm working on. It's not done yet, but just so that you can get an idea. I um, used this stencil and then I used all these little squares, you know, to get the squares. But I mean, you could do a whole background with this and just however, just, you know, trying to kind of think outside the box. I'm doing this whole kind of line in these blues and purples and such because I kind of I'm thinking of doing some type of digital with it. I've done this one, which is my Lady One stencil, or the classic lady. And uh, so I just added the hat and the hair. This is my 1960s, um, the Decade Ladies, 1960s. I just did her pretty normal. Then um, this is my Lady Two, or classic ladies two. She, um, I did, this, and this is kind of what started this. I kind of felt like she was a mermaid. So, and some of you have seen these because they've been on Instagram and I showed these before, but I just want to make sure you can see some ideas with the stencils. Cause I know sometimes when you look at a stencil, it's like, what do I do with it? So anyway, and then this is the 1960s ladies. I just did it, you know, twice. I actually flipped it over, I think, but it doesn't matter. Um, so that's what that one was. So you don't have to use them just exactly like they are. Like this one, I just left all the hair off. I did do a few of these that came into her face, like that one there. But, um, you know, you can leave the hair off. You can leave parts out, add parts, whatever. And then I also did this one with the Man 2 stencil. So and I just added, obviously, more hair. He already had kind of some grungy or scruffy looking hair and I just added to it. So that is that. And I need to finish that one. So today, like I said, we are going to play with some of these. And this is My Lady's Garden by Medieval Mirage. And this is just a portion. I have My Lady's Garden, um, the main body kit that she does. And then I also have the add on. So, um, you know, then I have the envelopes and all the other stuff, which is what this top portion is. But what I have printed out is just a portion of each kit. It's not the whole thing. So you'll see you get loads. I mean, you could do, I don't even know how many journals out of just one kit. It's crazy how much stuff she has in her kits. So definitely go check her out. And I will have a link in the description box below this video. So yeah, they're just super duper pretty. And my lovely friend Nora asked for some ephemera. And so I was gonna um, use some of this to make some ephemera for her. So that's kind of what I'm gonna start on. It was, a lot of it's the right type of colors. So, but you can see journaling cards, envelopes, postcards. Um, there's the stamps, um, there's just, there's just all kinds of stuff. Some of these are upside down. But. So you can see, and you get like corner pockets. And this is all part of the add-on. 
So when she does the add-on, it's usually a lot of, you know, the ephemera that you can use. <clears throat> And then there's that. Sorry, I'm kind of going through these fast, but I'm afraid we're not going to finish if I don't do that, so. And then these are the stamps. And she's got different size ones. There's another page of smaller stamps. And then more journaling cards. All different, kind. I mean, they're the same style, but they're also different. So, um, like, I think you could use these in, you know, more of that um, boho or bohemian or whatever you want to call it style, like these. But they could also be just used in, uh, like, vintage Victorian or any of those kind of things. There's all kinds of words. Um, that you can use and then this is kind of more the main body kit which is where you're going to get your pages and things like that so super duper pretty I really love this kit Joff it's gorgeous as always I mean honestly you could just go over there and get any kit that you like and you'll be happy because all her kits are just they're just beautiful so really and truly you can't go wrong. This is kind of cool with all just the um, ads, you know, the advertisement type. Um, I don't know what you call those, the fonts or whatever. So lovely. And there were more with like the ladies and stuff. I just did um, kind of more backgroundish because I'll probably use them, tear them up to make ephemera and stuff like that. And like these, you can even fussy cut out these flowers. I mean, they're just beautiful. And I love the birds, Joff. I just love the birds. Like a whole bird kit would be great too. But yeah, I really like it. <clears throat> and I don't really do design team projects anymore. I did do that for a while, but um, I'm not doing that anymore. But uh, Jeff is a good friend of mine and so you know I still love using her kits and I will always say you know if if there's one I'm using from anybody I'll definitely say who I'm using it from and put a link I'm just not doing actual design team projects because of time constraints <laughs> I don't always have time to do all that so anyhow I think we'll just start with some book page maybe do some collage and then we'll see where we get today. So I hope you're all having a great day. I didn't say that, I apologize. I just got straight down to business. <laughs> I just had a lot I wanted to show you guys and didn't think I was gonna, you know, get it all in. And I'm sorry I didn't do a video yesterday. We just had too much going on. And I needed to get stencils uh, cut. That was kind of what I did most of the day yesterday was get stencils cut to go in my shop. I'm probably gonna end up having to take like a day a week to do that sort of thing because otherwise I spend uh, my whole weekend doing that and <clears throat> that's not real great for everybody in the family. So I may have to do that. I think I'm gonna do one of those pockets, you know, that go like this way. I guess I could look in my idea book and get ideas, huh? But we'll start with this one and then we'll see where we get to. Yeah, that was good. I just had um, a jar of paintbrushes right by my elbow, knocked it off. I try to keep all this stuff around me so that when I want it, I can use it, but then I knock it all over my floor. So yeah, this is just, this is a book page folded in half. Um, this direction, the skinnier one was one folded that way. So that's what we do with these pages when we fold them. And this one needs to be glued a little more because sometimes you can see where there was just spots of glue when you're gluing them or, you know, folding them in half. Um, 
when using them for glue pages, a lot of times you don't get every bit. And sometimes it doesn't matter because if you're gonna stitch, then you don't need to worry about it. But uh, <clears throat> this one, I won't stitch all the way around. So I wanted to make sure I got that part like glued down. So those are just things to think about. And I really feel like I can use almost any of this and it'll be great. But like this gazebo right here would be great. And so you can use any of the cards. Like if you look at it and go, oh, I don't know what to do with that as far as the way it is. I mean, this could just be a tag, but um, you can use them for other things. Like I'm gonna use this piece to go right on here. So just, just use them because they're great. You don't have to do exactly what the intended use is. That's not necessary. Just do what you want to do. So let's see. I don't want the whole thing because it's not going to fit. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of just go right at the top of the gazebo. Oh, and I had, um, I've had some people say that they can't hear me again. And um, I've checked all my settings and they're good. And I listened to the video that was in question, you know, that was, had a couple of people say they couldn't hear. And I know that there's sometimes I trail off, especially if I'm in the middle of crafting. And usually probably what I'm saying isn't that important um, at that point, but also, and I apologize for that, I'll try to not do that, but you might want to check the settings like in your device, whatever you're using to watch videos, because when I listen to those videos back, I can hear them on, on mid-level volume. So, um, and I'm not saying that it, it's not my fault at all, because it is, because I tend to, like I said, trail off when I get thinking, and I don't do that on purpose at all, but um, just, just a thought. If you look at the settings of your device, you might find that like um, a lot of manufacturers, especially like Apple and stuff, make it so that you can only listen to your earbuds at a certain volume. And so it'll turn it down without you even knowing or make it a, like you can't turn it up any higher. And those are safety settings. So um, just check into that. And I'm not saying that that's definitely what it is but it might be something to look at because I um I can hear them fine you know when I listen not that that means anything but just saying that um when I'm speaking normally it's it's not a problem and I do apologize for not always speaking clearly but like I said a lot of times when I'm just jabbering while I'm crafting, it may not be the most important thing in the world anyway. So, but I apologize for that. But yeah, just check into your settings just to make sure that they're right, you know. Ugh, it's just hot today. Ugh. I'm kind of done with it already and it's not even July yet. Yeah, that's so pretty, so pretty. Okay. So then what should we put back here? We could use this other one because it's just got the pretty, like, um, what are those called? Hyacinths? And then the note. Let's see what else we got. We could just use like a, a flower or floral print too. this type of thing on the edge here yeah maybe we should do that that would be pretty I mean you're not gonna see all of it it's gonna get partially cut off but you'll see some of it and I'm gonna tear this side so we should get some of the flower anyway so this is a great pocket and you can stitch around it to give it you know more interest but you don't have to so don't feel like you know, you can just omit the stitching basically. If you don't like to sew or don't have a sewing machine, it's not something you have to do. 
and I don't need all of it, but I definitely want to make sure I get enough so that like my thumb notch doesn't go away, you know. So I'm going to take it to like here. And I have this printed on parchment paper and it's the Southworth parchment paper that I use most often when I do journals. I use parchment. Ah. And it is in my Amazon Associates link. You'll find it. But you can a lot of times find it even at Walmart. They have Southworth. And um, I use ivory is the color. But you can try different, you know, colors and whatever and see what you like the best. Hopefully I got, yeah, see, so I'll get that flower at least. So that'll be nice. So yeah, I really do apologize for all the noise outside if you can hear it. I don't know what you can hear or can't hear because I know sometimes people say in videos, sorry if you can hear that and you can't hear any of it, but... They are definitely going to town, chopping the tree down. It died, and so it was all just, you know, it's pine tree, so it just got like that icky brown color, so they're not just chopping down, you know, good trees. I'm actually surprised it didn't break in that storm. I mean, I'm glad, because it could have fallen onto their house or something, because it's a big tree, but, um, yeah, it's fairly surprising, because that storm was horrible. It pulled big tree right out of the ground so okay yeah that's gonna be very pretty so if you don't want to sew you can just glue like I'm doing now I may still end up stitching after the fact <clears throat> because my sewing machines across the room so we'll see my shaky shaky hand Oh, yeah. So in a couple weeks, my husband and son and I are going to take a trip to Utah to look at the college that my son's looking at. They're having like a thing there, so we can tour and find out more information about it. So that will be fun to just get away a little bit. Okay, so I like that. I think that's beautiful. We'll add a little something to the pocket here. Um, I had, I was like, I know I had music paper around here somewhere. <clears throat> to see because sometimes there's like I don't know just some words or something nice I just I like the part with the treble clef there Yeah, that tree came down super easy too. I watched them, but now they're just cutting all the branches off to put them in one of those chippers, you know? So that's what they're doing now. Plus they have the chipper going. <laughs> but I knew if I didn't get this made, it wasn't gonna happen today. So it's kind of just one of those things. Now that bee seems gigantic. Like I thought it might be fun to have a bee, but wowzers. That's huge. I have some of mine because I add them sometimes to um, orders. You know, I'll like cut one out and put it with an order just so that there's a little, a little goodie. got two big of scissors but my other scissors are downstairs
Yeah, so if you're interested in any of the stencils, I pretty much have them all. The only one I don't think I have right now is the line stencil. And then I am working on um, the 20s and 30s ladies and the 50s, the decade ladies. I had them done. But I kind of had some problems with the backgrounds, but like this is the um, 1920s decade lady and the 1930s decade lady. And so those will be coming. And then... I had to go back and fix a couple things with her. These are just exam or like, I'm just trying it out. That's why they're on paper. But this is my 1950s lady. And then she'll come with this round circle background. And I should have those hopefully by Monday in the shop. Just depending on how much I get done this weekend. <laughs> Which is always questionable. I don't know where do I want to be. Maybe right there. So yeah, but they're, I'm finally getting, I had like so many ideas and I just started drawing <laughs> stencils and then it was like, I need to get some of these in my shop and quit making more and just like focus Amy because they are super fun to play with. If you've been watching or looking at my Instagram, I've been posting, you know, those things I've been doing with the face stencils in the evening. I didn't get that, I didn't get the one done last night, but yeah, I've just been having loads of fun doing that. So yeah, it's just fun to add a little something to these, you know, more, you don't have to, but there's that. And I think we should make a little journaling card for it instead of waiting. Sometimes I wait and then I have this whole pile of ephemera that I think I'm done with and Lo and behold, I'm not done. Oh, that's good. Well, we just need the top part of it anyway. <laughs> sometimes they're more stuck than I think. And sometimes you don't even have to glue them together more. Sometimes they're fine. But if they're coming apart like that, I do like to add more glue. Okay, how do I need this anyway? I can rip it here. And then I am going to tear the top so that it's torn. Sometimes I like this torn look. Sometimes I do just, you know, cut it. So it's just what you feel like doing, basically. And then we check to see if it'll fit. And I know it's not going to already. It needs to be smaller. I've got a weird sticking up corner over there. And if you round the corners, that helps with that, putting them in and out of the pocket. <clears throat> Sorry, pocket thing. Got a frog in my throat. Okay. So we will put some paper on this and I love this blue flower. What are those called? I can't remember. Totally escaping me. Bluebells? I don't know. They're pretty. They look like bluebells. <laughs> Captain Obvious, right? Yeah, it's just sweltering in here already, and it's, you know, 9 30 in the morning for crying out loud. Ugh. Misery. So Nora, let me know if this works. I know you said um, teal and aqua and honestly, <laughs> I am not sure. I mean, I know there's a bit of a difference, but I'm not sure if I have enough to make the variation look, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I just thought I would make you a bunch of ephemera and you can use them however you think because I think like this is maybe leans towards the teal more I don't know but then in here it's there's more aqua so I don't know I don't know exactly how you want to do that so if you have any suggestions for me that would be super awesome I'm just not sure how I can differentiate enough to for you to tell which one is obviously 
one or the other with what I have anyway. I don't have a ton of blue, I mean, or you know, in digis, because I tend towards neutrals a little bit more. But this kit definitely has some pretty, pretty teals and stuff. And a bird would be kind of cool, huh? Like one of these circles. I wonder if my punch will punch that. Probably just not the right size. That's what usually happens to me with circle punches. They're not the right size. Yeah, see that's too small and the other one I have I know is too big. This one might be it, but it'll probably just tear it because it's awful. Oh, I know, I'll put another piece of paper. Let's see if that helps. I don't know why that helps, but it does. So if you have this problem with your punch, just put another piece of paper behind. And if you don't struggle as much as I do, you'll have a much easier time of it. I think it did punch this one at least. Yay! <clears throat> we need another little something under that. I'm gonna have to get out lace and stuff. I haven't used any lace or anything in ages. So I know this pocket isn't anything new, but just kind of a craft with me while I make some things from my pal. All right. Let's see if we can find anything interesting in my giant bag of scrap. I like the numbers. I'm not crazy about the giant number, but let's see what else we got. I was actually looking for some of my embossed paper, but I don't see any. Oh, that'll come out. Some shorthand would work. We'll probably still use those numbers, but just for another little something here. I'll have to print out some lacy papers or something too. from my sister. Thank you, Megan. And um, yeah, I think it would be cool to put in here. Let me see. I usually don't stamp with the Distress ink because it doesn't give a very great image, like a crisp image, but I'm kind of just looking for the, the design 
a little bit in there. Just add some something to it there. <coughs> okay, so we'll go with that. Do this one first. why we don't throw away all these little bitty scraps <laughs> much to the chagrin of our husbands for example um, at least mine anyway he, he doesn't understand why I keep the stuff that I keep I want to bind if I can something else. Got glue all over. I was going to put it up higher, huh? Duh. Because then otherwise I can't see the stamping. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I need a paper towel. There's that. Maybe I will use, since I did it yesterday and it's all messed up already. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so that will go right in here, hopefully. <laughs> And I will stitch around it, so <clears throat> I can tuck it way in or whatever. But so there's my little pocket for today. I think we're we're good for today since I showed all my stencils and all that jazz. But yeah, if you're if you're looking for face stencils, then I definitely have some. <laughs> all right, and definitely go check over at Joff's uh, Medieval Mirage because she just does beautiful, beautiful work. So anyway, we'll chat again soon. I love you guys. Talk later. Bye now.